Because why not? So, I don't know what I was thinking. I bought a sewing machine. I bought it without any experience or knowledge of how to use a sewing machine. And I saw everybody just sewing anyway. And I think I'm gonna be good at it, okay? That's what I think, okay? And then I tried it, fine. And guess what? Now we're doing a DIY corset. Actually, this corset is gonna be made of all my old clothes. So we're actually upcycling my old t-shirts because I don't want to use it anymore and I'm giving a new life to this old clothes. So let's start this DIY corset. Materials needed. So we need a fabric. The fabric I got it from my old shirt. That's what I prefer it with. I even use my husband's old shirt for the lining. So we need to have the front um, fabric and the lining fabric. Yeah. And you need to make a pattern. I'm actually attaching a pattern so you can just um, save it up, print it, and tweak it to your size. You know, you can change it up. So actually the pattern is with the strap. So what I'm doing is a tube because I didn't have enough fabric. So by the way, what you do is, you just need to trace the pattern into the fabric. Because I'm lazy, what I do is, I pin the pattern directly to the fabric. And then I will start cutting it. So, um, I start cutting the fabric, but you have to make sure when you cut the fabric, you have a half an inch from the outside. So, you cut it half inch allowance. That's the allowance. So, when you start sewing, because once you do the pattern with your size and you cut it on the same size, I tell you, you're going to have a sm smaller um, clothes, okay? So, you better make sure you have a half an inch allowance outside. So yes, you have to cut twice because you have the front fabric and the lining fabric. So for the lining fabric, I use my husband's shirt because why not? <laughs> so once you cut everything, the front fabric and the lining fabric, just a tip, when you have a design, make sure it's in the center when you cut it, okay? It's in the fold. Once everything is done for cutting, now we can start sewing. So what we sew is... Whatever we need to connect, okay? So we're just gonna use a straight stitch. So we will connect the front fabric and the lining fabric. Once everything is connected, what we do is, we're gonna turn the fabric inside out. So make sure that the top design is inside, same as the lining. So it means that the raw or the ragged edge will be outside, both for the lining fabric and the front fabric. So we're gonna stitch it together. Before you stitch it, make sure it's the same size and shape, okay? You can have a different shape, okay? Because of the lining, it has to be the same. So we pin it together and then we sew it together. So, so, so in the sewing machine. So same straight stitch. So what I do is I stitch everything and after I stitch everything, I use my seam reaper to open up a hole. So when you open up a hole, that's when you turn the fabric inside out. I use a chopstick to help me. Once everything is ready, yeah, you can see that the shape is coming through. It's almost done. Almost. So what I do is, after I turn the fabric inside out, you're gonna see that's the finished product. Nope, not yet finished. So what I do is, I will stitch it on top because I like doing that and because I have the hole. But it's up to you, you definitely don't need to stitch it. But I like it, it looks much more professional. So anyway, I stitch all the sides. I think um, half an inch or lesser than that. So it's all over the sides. But what you do is, 
To make it to short cut, don't stitch the lower part because we still need to put the ribbing for the corset. Okay, once all the top stitches is done, now we have to measure for the ribbing. For the ribbing, what I use is a cable tie like all the other girls in TikTok are doing. Yep, so cable tie for the win. So you just need to measure the size of the cable tie. Where do you want it? You can do any design you want. As for me, I'm putting five ribbing for the cable tie. Okay. After you measure the cable tie wire to put in, make sure you have enough space to move, okay? Because you still need to stitch the below of the corset, okay? And also, don't forget to file the cable tie because if you don't file it, it's gonna damage your fabric. Once you put that into the stitches and put the cable tie, you're almost there. Stitch the below of the corset. Whew, almost there. It literally looks like a corset now, right? So what we do is now we go for the back. So what we do with the back is we do a grommets. So you need to have the grommet set. So you can buy it online. I bought mine from AliExpress. It's cheaper. Yeah. So you need to do this with the grommets. Basically, you need a hammer and the hole maker and the setting for the grommets. So I did it with eight grommets on the other side and eight, of course, on the other side. So what we do now is we need to have the finishing touch, the fabric that we need to use for the grommets. So I made it myself. This is like one half an inch fabric from all whatever fabric is left. And yeah, I'm just gonna make it into the tie. So you have to um, sew it inside out again. So to turn this, you need to use a safety pin. Safety pin is very good tool, okay? So yeah, you just need that. And after that, we're finished. Once you finish with that, then we can put it all on the grommets. And once it's in the grommets, you can make a tie and the ribbon. It's voila! For set! Amazing! So this is the corset, guys. This, uh, it's a tube. I like it. I like the design of it. I mean, it's better than throwing my shirt. <laughs> yeah, so this is the corset. Nicely done. By moi. I think it's a bit big though. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe it's the fabric of this shirt. Yeah, but it's okay. I don't mind it. <laughs> okay, so this is the other tube that I made. It's also a corset, also from my old shirt. So do you see the design I put in the middle? Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Amsterdam. So this is a bit tight, but the other one is a bit big, right? Yeah. Quite nice. It's the same pattern, guys. So it's up to you if you want to do it with the strap or the tube. So you just, you know. So this is another corset but this is with a strap so it's not a tube and I make a different back it's not a grommets yeah so it's like this <laughs> not bad nothing going forever another one Okay, so this is the last one, okay? Don't get bored. <laughs> this is one of my favorites because I really like this print of the Sex Pistol shirt. And I think the size is perfect, so... Nice! Let me know in the comment section below if you have any question regarding this DIY corset top, okay? I would be happy to reply to you. So, these are all the corsets that I made to date. You don't know in the future, maybe I make more. I hope you learned something new. I hope you can do your own corset. Just trust yourself, you can do it. Anyway, stay safe and stay healthy. I'm your friendly Tito of Manila that lives in Singapore. Ciao, everybody. See you again next week. Bye.